Hello, hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other video about the MDE tutorial Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and today's video we're going to talk about how you can allow or block traffic from the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint so this video is very helpful if you are allowing any traffic in your the production environment so let's get started uh, with this video now here is the content what you're going to cover up in this video so firewall rule explanation so i'm going to explain everything about the firewall then we'll talk about the advanced hunting query uh, which used to track your the traffic whether it's getting blocked or not what type of traffic is getting blocked now the firewall uh, features create a firewall policy so we're going to create a firewall rule and then we'll test it on our the test device and then finally the troubleshooting so this is a advanced hunting query which we are going to use in uh, our uh, testing environment and even you can use it in the production as well now here is a firewall uh, rule validation how you can validate whether the rule is implemented on end user device or not it's like of a testing so let's move it to the practical lab and let's see all these things are practically so now i am here in the microsoft mem console uh microsoft endpoint manager console and uh, inside the uh endpoint security so here is a firewall rule option where we're going to create our the firewall rule now so uh, let's load it completely before going to start this let's understand what traffic is getting blocked how we can track the traffic so now here if you go to that uh, kql which i shows you I'm going to show you here again. So this is the query which you can use to, to track the traffic. I'm tracking the, the 3389 port and with this device name. So if you are using this the same query in your the production, then you can just modify your the port name or the device name, or you can just mark it if you don't want to track on a specific port. So now this is marked and uh, you can get all the traffic which is getting blocked on which port is getting connection failed and all so this is something different query which will not give you the complete blockage it's a connection field but here is another query which will give you the exact detail which is getting blocked so but in my lab i was unable to regenerate or the create the any blockage issue so uh, recently I built my lab, so I don't have any blockage. So let's take an example. If you get any traffic blocked in your the infra, so you will be having like a remote IP, a remote port, which is going to be used. So when you run this query in your the production, so you can see in the many IPs addresses be getting blocked on certain ports. So once you finalize your the destination port or the remote port, uh, remote port and the IP. So, which is uh, a remote port and the remote IP, and then you can move it to the create a firewall rule. Once you have to make sure this is our the destination and this is the port and this is the application which is getting the block. So, once you have these information, you can uh, start creating a firewall rule. So, let's move it to the MEM console here and create a firewall rule. So, now just click on the firewall rule, create a policy, select this. And here is the two options in Microsoft Defender. This for this I already I create a video that is in my the uh, same tutorial. So you can, you can go and watch that video. So now we are going to allow the traffic. So you need to select with the rule. Now create it. And now here allow traffic for anything whichever you like it or whichever. Uh, application you are allowing you can give the convenience name or with your the company uh, naming conversion you can put it here the name now let's go to the next and here is the configuration setting to allow the rule so now go here and uh, here is the option that is a inbound or the outbound so what type of traffic you're gonna allow it here it is a inbound or the outbound 
so you can select based on your requirement but i can suggest uh if first give it try with the outbound traffic and because only the few application work with the inbound and the outbound and the vibers but the, uh, the more our application is uh, working on the outbound traffic only from source to the destination when they are accessing the data but make sure when you are creating the firewall rule i will show you the both the scenarios so let's go with the uh, first outbound rule and uh, service name if you want to give it here the service name here you can give it but it is not a mandatory local port so local port also not a mandatory uh, local port also you can get it easily from the query from here so i have mentioned it's a local port as well but again this is not recommended to give the local port so if you need it then you can select the local port here it will be highlighted and you can put it anything in the port now this option should be under the enabled if not your policy is not going to work so it should be under the enable mode now the remote ip address range this is the must required uh, what is your the destination as i shows you in my the another query suppose let's take an example this port is getting uh, this uh, this destination is getting blocked for the certain port now, on the 443 so let me just allow it oh, where i went Oops. here okay so this is the ip address and uh, let me just see where it is again okay so it's a remote ip only now uh if we have the any other ip like this is the and uh, this is the one more ip i have in my the here and i need to use the multiple remote ip so you can go and select the multiple ips as well just i'm giving you an example now here is a name for what is this firewall name you want to put it so you can put like uh, uh, related to your issue uh, any this application allowed out to bone traffic rule okay so here is a outbound traffic and that's why i mentioned because whenever you are opening reopening this firewall rule so easily you can understand it so now go to the interface what type of interface is connected if you have not selected any interface like the wireless if you're missing and user connected on the wireless then it won't be work now the description it's not much required the family name file path so if you know the exact file path for this application so you can put it or else it's not the mandatory it can uh, uh check your the destination and the uh, remote port and then it can work but if you want to allow based on the application so you uh, based on the application path so you can give in the path the installation path from the program file or anything so here is the like the example c drive uh, windows system 32 notepad.exe in that format you can put it here now the remote port as we seen it here my the port is getting logged on the 443 Three, uh, three, three, eight, nine, fifty-three. So let's put it all three. One, two, three. So four, four, three, and what was that? Three, three, eight, nine, and the next is fifty-three. Let's give it try with these three ports. Again, based on your requirement, what you tracked from your the output from the kql now this option is not at all mandatory the a is traceable if you want to trace it but it's not at all mandatory the local url authorized list that also not at all mandatory to paste uh, to do it here here let's go here and the profile on the which type of profile it's going to work like a profile domain private and the public so just select all threes or you can select it, the single one all so if you have any type of if you selected this all then no need to select all these options so let's go with this uh, public private and the domain and now here is a protocol so this is the must setting 
if you didn't configure this here the firewall will throw an error so now let's mention it for the six why it is the six because of here it's clearly mentioned the tcp protocol your uh, uh this um, entire traffic is moving over the tcp so if you have the any other specific protocol and you know as well then you can mention it here but most of the cases 90 90% uh, of the cases we are putting the 6 because entire traffic goes over the TCP. If you are allowing the UDP, then you need to put it 70 here, 70 in one second. And now we are good here. So let's give it try and let's save it. So now our the outbound rule is uh, ready. And if you have requirement to create inbound also, so you can just go here and create in the similar way the inbound rule local port range is not at all required that's enabled uh, the remote IP address from where we tracked it let's go back and just track it again come on Oops. here and here was a Inability syntax. Okay, so space is there. Let me just go and just track it. The another IP was, I think, I take in the 200. And now here is a uh, the similar name we can give the A dot P L I C application or the application name you can give it. Just in. Unt, inbound rule so earlier we created the outbound now we are creating inbound rule so the interface the remote wireless LAN the accent type is allowed if you selected the blog then it will block this traffic so let it select the allow now here is a file path as I told you if you want to put it the file path you can put it here if not then also it will work so now here is the port range what was it like 4433389 so 4433389 and now move it to the uh, 53 I think. let's make it the same the 53 and now here is the last option is the protocol 6 and now we are good let's save it so now we are good over this uh, okay so here is a mistake application let's say fine let's save it now go to the next and here is a scope tag if you want to tag your the scope you can do it uh, if your company following the any tags if not can leave it blank now go to the assignment just include the role uh, include the group on which machine you want to apply this policy so firewall testing Let's go here, go to the next and now review and just click on create. So let's let's wait for this once it's done. So now this rule has created, the policy has created here you can see the policy. So policy created and it's uh, the successfully. Now let's move it to the test machine and test it whether this rule has applied or not. So anyway, you can deploy it and you can ask to user, you can reboot or you can update uh, the, the policy and then it can work. But if you want to test it thoroughly, how this rule is going to apply, then let's go here. This is my the test machine. Let's go to the setting and just give a sync. So now it will fetch the let us firewall policy and Oh, come on. Oh, just now it's synced, so you need to wait for some time. If you are syncing up very quickly, it will throw an error. Because it, it just, just now it was synced up. Let's give it a try now. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, let me go to the registry path and I can show you where this firewall rule will apply. So, R E G E T I T. -E 
and here the firewall rules will apply you need to go with this uh, this particular path uh, on local machine system current control set services CR folder parameters firewall MDM and the rules so actually I opened so directly it got accessed so once you have the firewall rule reached it will it will reflect over here so let's see whether it's reached or not so now let me go and uh, just validate which port I allowed here okay so this is my the remote range and these three ports we have defined it here so let me take a snapshot fine now let's move it to the test machine again and let's see whether this registry value is getting updated or not okay well, it is updating very fastly Refresh no. Let me close and reopen it again. So still firewall rule has not reached. We need to wait some time. This is the old firewall rule. Let's wait for some time. Okay, for some of the reason that uh the policy is not getting synced on this device but I can show you how you can uh, check your the firewall rules so uh, in before this video I tested for the one of the firewall rules and how it was looking like I can show you here so here, uh, here you will get there the firewall rule just open it and let's go to the notepad and just paste it so here it's a uh, it's for the action blog which I I tried it earlier but uh, for uh, this policy it will show the work allow so you're the port whether it's allowed or not so you can see in your the port range three three eight nine one thirty seven and like this all the ports you can get it here uh, whatever we allowed it in our the firewall rule so guys once the registry value uh, it's updated with the firewall rule then you can test it and it sure it will work so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my the next video for some more troubleshooting thank you have a good day